Good morning, Hojo staff, students, and families. Ya Teoben. We're ready to start our day. It's Friday. It's Monday, August 31st. So everybody, please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Eyes are on the flag. Bodies are still. Voices are off. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday, and it's going to be a busy week as we get started full throttle with all of our work online and um, just working on our content and making things happen this week. So let's get busy. Um, for kindergarten, let's listen to a piece, and I've played it once this year, and we've played it before in the years past, but my new kindergarten friends who have never been to school before, I wanna see if you remember what this piece is. Do you remember? Did you say Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? And I bet many of the other grade levels know this one too. And who is who is the composer of uh, 12 variations on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? It's Mozart. That's right. The same person who we have this from. That's right, and that one is Eine Kleine Nachtmusik, or Serenade Number 13. Yes, indeed. And we have a selection for today that is, some, is related to some that we've learned in the past. Um, so Mrs. Neff has chosen a piece for us uh, from The Four Seasons by um, Antonio Vivaldi. And do you remember? Here's one of the seasons we've listened to in the past. Okay, friends, <clears throat> which season? Yes, and how many seasons are there? Four seasons, right? And so we have listened to Vivaldi's. This piece that we just listened to was which season? It was winter, right? Do you hear the, the violin making the noise? Sounds like snowflakes, like a blizzard rolling around. Those days are coming. I look out my window and it's a little chilly today, but we're still in which season? We're still in summer right now. That's right. And so that was winter. You could hear the snowflakes, the blizzard of snow, and it's very cold and very burr. When you listen to the music, it makes you think of winter. Well, here's the one for summer, and we're going to listen to this one for the first time together.
Okay, friends, that's the beginning of Antonio Vivaldi's summer. Did you hear how it's kind of slow? And you know how you're outside in the summer if it's really, really hot? You kind of move very slowly. The, the animals move very slowly. Everything's very slow because it's so hot, right? That's summer. And compared to winter where, brr, fast, fast, fast moving. Um, but when you listen to the whole piece of summer, there are times, right, if you're sitting outside and it's summer and it's very hot and things are very slow and then all of a sudden you feel a breeze and then some wind and then a storm comes in. And so you can listen to all of that in Vivaldi's summer. And these are all still posted on our channel. Um, so you can listen to all of last year's selections and you can listen to this year's selections as well, the ones we've, we've just started covering. And so uh, hopefully with limited commercial interruptions. Sometimes when you listen on YouTube, that's what happens, you get some commercials. But uh, for the most part, that's a place where you can go and listen to all of our selections of classical music um, that we're learning together. So for um, a poem this week, last week's poem was about humanity, all people, all people in the world from all time, right? Humanity. Well, today's, or this week's poem comes from our third grade selections and it's called By Myself, kind of the opposite of humanity, right? All of the world from all time, all people. And yet this poem is about myself, me. And when we think about all people from all time, that there's never been another you. You are the only you. And I think that's a Dr. Seuss poem too. Um, so you are your, the only you that has ever been in the whole history of the world. So every human is very special. And so Eloise Greenfield is our poet for this week from the third grade selection of poems. So if you were in third grade this year, you would be memorizing this poem. Um, if you were third grade last year or the year before, Perhaps you remember it, so we'll say it together. By myself. When I'm by myself and I close my eyes, I'm a twin. I'm a dimple in a chin. I'm a room full of toys. I'm a squeaky noise. I'm a gospel song. I'm a gong. I'm a leaf turning red. I'm a loaf of brown bread. I'm a whatever I want to be and anything I care to be. And when I open my eyes, what I care to be is me. So this is something interesting to think about when you're a poet. Remember we talked about a poet last year, um, how they look at something very, very small. They might look at a, a bug or a bee, or they might look at a leaf or a blade of grass, and they write an entire poem about one little tiny thing and all of their observations. And so a poet um, can stop and think about the tiniest little thing. And so this poet is thinking about maybe when she's a child or maybe as an adult. When you close your eyes and use your imagination, you can go anywhere and be anything and wonder what it's like to be those things. So what would it be like to be uh, a twin if you're not already a twin? I know we have a few. Um, what it, would it be like to be a gospel song or a room full of toys? And you're a room full of toys and here comes a child. We all watch the Toy Story movies. And so um, you get the perspective of being something different. And that's what poets do. They have, help us think about things in different ways. So By Myself by Eloise Greenfield. So we'll practice that and see if we can memorize part of it this week, especially if you're in third grade. Okay, so on to art. Ooh, maybe you see somebody behind me here. We've done this piece of art before. Whoops, there's a terrible glare. I don't know if we can see. Oh, I'm making it worse. I don't know if we can get, maybe that's a little bit better. But you should recognize her. And who is that behind me? That's right, Mona Lisa. That's right, by Leonardo da Vinci. Painted in 1503. That was a long time ago, my friends, and still a beautiful piece of artwork. 
that we have today from the Renaissance period. Uh, so we're going to look at a few of um, Leonardo da Vinci's pieces this week. But here's the familiar piece that we should all know, the Mona Lisa. Very famous for her smile. Families, if you Google it so the kids can get a close look. Um, is Mona Lisa, is she happy? Sad? Mad? What's her feeling? It's really hard to tell by looking at her face. And that's why it's such a famous painting. People will talk about the Mona Lisa smile. So if people can't tell what you're thinking, then you have sort of that Mona Lisa look about you. So, um, and so that we don't forget <clears throat> what we've also learned. Tell me what is it? Washington Cross in Delaware by Manuel Loitza. That's right. And we have last week's selections. Who was our artist last week? Renoir. That's right. This is Two Sisters. That's right. And Girl with the Watering Can. Correct. Okay, friends. And for architecture, we'll go through these pretty quickly. We have Washington Monument. That's right. And we have U.S. Capitol Building. That's right, where our senators and representatives meet. This week, we're gonna talk about this building. Here's the front, here's the back. The front, the back. And what color is it? It is white. It is the White House. That's right, our president's White House. President of the United States resides in the White House in which state or which area? Of Washington, D.C., that's right not a state. So Washington DC is where all our nation's monuments and uh, where all of the business for the, our federal government, for that's where all our representatives and, and um, our senators meet and where the president resides, that's where the business of US government takes place, right? To form a more perfect union, right? Helping to establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. Mm -hmm. All those things happening in Washington, D.C. That's why we should know what those buildings are when we see them. Okay, friends, we do have one birthday today. Emily is having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Emily. Last day in August. And uh, for announcements, uh, we do have some Chromebooks which we are working on to make ready for you. Hopefully we can do that tomorrow. I'll send out a confirming email today. If you did not get a Chromebook or if you need more for your family, so you only have one, but you have more than one student in your household, then we can um, issue you another Chromebook. Like I said, we're gonna be working hard on getting some of our work posted and really digging in this week. So working really hard, really hard. Um, soon we're going to um, be opening up for students to come back for at least half day, if that's something you're interested in. We are putting out a schedule for those who've already requested to come to school for a little bit of time. Um, and I'll be sending out an email with more details regarding that. So you should be looking for this week, be looking for a notice on Chromebooks if you need them. Also hotspots. I'm hoping this week they will be here. They're little um, things that clip into the Chromebook and help you have a, a stronger Wi-Fi service if you have cell service in your area. If you don't, we're going to have to get creative about how we get you some schoolwork. Um, and... Um, I guess that's all, so be watching for some email updates. So we put it in writing so we're not confused about that. Um, I guess that's all, so let's do our student pledge. Remember, we're always working to do our very best, right? following our school virtues. That's why we say, I will do the good. And we will learn things, great things. There's many, many things to know about our world. Um, why things work, why things work the way they do, what things happened in, in times before us, and what can we learn from great works of art and literature and music. So there's great things to know, and we want to know all those true things. So we learn the true, and we will love those things. We will love those beautiful things that we can learn about. Sometimes things are not so beautiful in our, because it's, things are, you, Humans make mistakes, right? That's what humanity is. We've always made mistakes. But are, are we still using our virtues to move in the right direction? And so um, we want to love all things beautiful and appreciate them. Okay, so let's do our student pre pledge. I will do the good. I will learn the true. 
and I will love the beautiful. And I hope you have a great day today.